I hope you're doing well. Um, first of all, I want to say I'm sorry the last video didn't turn out as well as I had hoped it would. Um, I guess I don't really have the steady hand and just moving around and trying to make videos is not my thing. So I hope you enjoyed it, but I've learned that keeping the camera still is a better idea. So today I thought I would give an update. Um, we've had a few things that have happened that I, I thought you might uh, want to be aware of and just know what's going on. So we had um, some major earthquakes a few weeks ago and um, we had another noticeable earthquake yesterday and so it was not as big as the others have been but it was still noticeable that it was going on it was late in the evening um, I was actually lying in bed Thomas was already asleep and I didn't face Thomas thank you Lord for um, a child that is a heavy sleeper and so but we're okay um, but there are those people that were closer to the epicenter that have been affected and just are having different things that they have to go through and those um, that might not live as an in as sturdy a place as we do every time the earthquake happens like they just wonder what's gonna happen to their homes and they become nervous and and, and even us we become nervous and so it's it's a challenge it's it's hard to deal with it's um, definitely something you just you want to be able to rest at night you want to be able to have peace that it's not gonna happen again and it just we ha that hasn't come um, we had a mild aftershock today um, so yes the earth is still shifting and moving and it and, and always is to an extent but we're definitely going through a lot more of it now than we have in the past so please keep that in your prayers please keep those that um, are still living in temporary housing temporary shelters and things uh, keep them all in your prayers um, as they're trying to figure things out and uh, just get things to work out I know we have colleagues that that work with some of those people that no longer have permanent homes to live in and so it stresses them out every time there's an earthquake even if it's a mild one because there's just um, it's a lot to deal with it's a lot to handle so we really appreciate your prayers um, for comfort for rest for good sleep for everybody and just peace of mind that the Lord has us in his hands no matter what happens because sometimes that can easily be forgotten I want to say thank you so much for your prayers I had my second observation for the year um, today and it I think it went well um, I'm glad to have it over with but as a teacher that's the one thing that really makes me nervous and just one of those things I kind of stress out about and so I told my students that and told them I was thankful that they were in a good mood and behaved and cooperated today for the most part so thank you just just for being with us um, for hearing our story for walking alongside us um, we have some pretty big things possibly coming up as a family um, so we'd really appreciate prayers for that um, pray for us as we're trying to um, help Thomas to understand different things that are going on and just yeah I promise we will come with more details later we just can't give those at this point um, it's all all good things nothing bad and so but yeah the Lord the Lord continues to work the Lord continues to use us and we're so very grateful this week is a full week of school today is Tuesday so we still have Wednesday Thursday Friday Thomas has a full week of school and then next week we have Friday off and we're gonna celebrate um, American Thanksgiving with just a bunch of teachers from school and um, some of them are American and some of them aren't and it doesn't matter we're just gonna get together and fellowship and eat and so that'll be 
that'll be a lot of fun and um, just a time to relax and reflect and all that stuff and so yeah oh and we also have the school carnival next week on Thursday so we've got a lot of different things coming up to keep us busy like not like we don't have enough already um, there's the elementary Christmas concert there's the middle school Christmas concert there's Christmas parties and things and so and we have our Christmas decorations up which is, is a blessing and just kind of you know puts you in that good Christmas -y mood and oh I'm doing something really fun at least I think it's fun and it's good to do um, with my eighth graders and so in college I read the book 10,000 gifts I don't I don't remember who it's by I'd have to look it up but anyways it's a really good book where this lady goes through and she literally thinks of everything she can possibly think of that she's thankful for and just sees everything as a gift and as something to rejoice in and um, to praise the Lord that we have it and so I told my students about that today and we have started making a list each student has started making a list and I told them I said whoever can come up with the most things that they're thankful for um, at the end of two weeks I will give them a prize and so I hope that something that they're excited about I'm just trying to get them to change um, their mindset of not oh my life's so boring you know I've got all these hard things to do and all these earthquakes are happening and all that like I'm I want them to have joy I want them to be able to look at things and be like yes God is doing that I see God in this I see God in that and so um, I'm just hoping that making this list helps them to to see all the things that they have to be grateful for and so um, maybe later on I'll make a video and just list off some things that I'm grateful for so we'll, we'll see um, how that turns out or what comes of that I'll let you know if they're liking the project if they're not liking it and I'll make sure I give you an update on that so I think that's about it thank you so much again for your prayers continue to pray for the earthquake victims um, continue to pray for those that are experiencing the earthquakes because they continue to happen um, be with those as we've had some pretty hard rains there's just a lot of different like weather things that we would appreciate prayer for and um, yeah we have some family things that we'd appreciate prayer for that I'll elaborate on later so have a great day God bless see you later